it's here you and see you um i am actually oh not seeing comments from the desktop anyway so hope yes here they come all right great so um thanks for joining me today for those of you who don't know me my name is hillary i'm the marketing mom i'm a social media manager digital marketing strategist i'm an online business coach and trainer and i work particularly with moms because i am a mom proud wife and mother of 2.5 children um yes our third daughter is on her way and we've got less than two months so you as i said last week you're going to be seeing some different changes as workload increases and um as a mom we're juggling different things in business and today what i want to talk about actually kind of speaks to that because what you do your network your followers your team whatever um type of organization you're in that you're building your home based business from all right you are going to need to readjust different things and what i want to share with you and you'll see that theme a lot this week about leadership and this weekend um i read and for those of you i mean um whether you're whether you're spiritual christian or not but in some of my readings this weekend over the weekend um there was something that stuck out to me very um, strongly about servant leadership, all right? Um, and if you want to be, you know, the greatest, you've got to be the least in terms of you have to serve. You have to be the one they're serving. And one of the things that I've always admired about my, my mentors, especially inside of Elite Marketing Pro, um, is that they are always in the trenches. They may be director, they may be CEO, they may be CMO, but they're always in the trenches because that's where you're able to learn what it is that you need to teach. And what I find is that a lot of leaders who stand up high on the pedestal and they say, do this, do that, and do the other, but then they're not doing it. That's a type of leadership that you want to question. So in terms of your own experience in growing your team and growing your community, you want to ask that question of yourself. All right. And I'm asking it of you today. Today is Monday. We're kicking the week off and you're going to see a lot of things surrounding um, leadership on the on my social channels this week but really and truly what i want to to drill home is that what you really should be doing is looking at how you can serve and there are many ways to do that through social media okay and so here's the you know you know i always link this to my social media training my social media coaching because what you do as a person, you know, you're um, one of my business coaches, Mia Redrick, you know, she always says your life times when we're linking things, right, as a mother, we will see that, you know, the things that we want our children to do, we have to do it ourselves. That is a simple example of servant leadership, all right? Um, very simple example of servant leadership that we take for granted sometimes. We don't think of, you know, the fact that, this is what leadership is all about, that we can't do something over here and then tell people to do something over here. So if you're a business coach, um, whatever the case is, you've got to be doing exactly what you're teaching people. And that is something that, you know, in the online space, a lot of people get a little frustrated because they've got leaders telling them to do one thing over here and then um, other people telling them to do something over here and then they're doing something totally different, all right? I've always admired all my coaches. All my coaches have always done and continue to do what they teach. And that is something that I also teach and I propose and I, you know, I um promote that. Okay. So a couple of ways. How do you know how to serve? A lot of times people say, but well, I don't know anything or um, I don't know what people really want. So I'm just going to tell them what I know. Well, on social media, like I shared last week, you know, when we were talking about engaging and not just posting, 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 but engaging. When you're engaging, you're engaging with whom? I'm assuming it's people and people always got problems. They've got successes, they've got problems. And there's some people who on social media release all their problems, okay? And you know, nine out of 10 times, you actually have a solution to that problem. So whether it may be, um, 
it may be um I, I can't think of one right now but you know like weight loss weight loss is a big thing people are always talking about weight loss on social media um they're on instagram or they're on on twitter and facebook or oh, i've got this problem I, I i've been exercising daily i've been eating right and i just can't seem to lose those last five pounds and maybe you actually found the solution to those last five pounds, right? Maybe it was not in the food, maybe it wasn't in the exercise, but maybe it was in the amount of sleep that they got or something like that, right? So you're able to now have a conversation with that person online because guess what? They just told you what their problem is. And you, as the leader, are going to come in there, step in there, and give them the solution that they're asking for. Nine out of ten times, people are, you know, they're out there putting information in the hope that somebody's going to listen and somebody's going to answer now how does this relate to your business well you've got to always be connected to the groups and the people who are interested in some form or fashion in what you have to offer okay now so there are women who maybe there's a I, I don't want to say depressed women's group but you know sometimes there's some groups where there are women who have attained a certain amount of weight loss and there are others who are struggling and they're all in this nice group together and then there are women who are struggling with beauty or their image image whatever the case may be and you're there to provide some solutions in what beauty versus outward beauty all of those type of things right um and i'm speaking about women because you know that's that's who i i focus on in the main all right <laughs> so not that men are excluded all right um we love our husbands but um you know we, we focus a lot of women tend to share their problems more in these type of closed environments and closed groups and what you want to do on social media is network with them but not in a way that's like hunting them down like trying to get the money okay so like you know there are a lot of people who jump into the groups and say well you know i've got a pill for that no you don't want to be that person that has the pill or the lipstick or the makeup or the whatever you want to be the person that's giving the advice and that's talking to them and if my internet is getting a little choppy I apologize I'm seeing my um my screen moving a little slow all right so I apologize for that and for those of you who are joining late or watching your replay just drop any comments below hashtag replay all right um hashtag replay and if you want to learn more about how to work with me you've got to visit hillarydefreitas.com forward slash strategy i forgot to mention that at the beginning all right so back to the servant leadership now if you've got a team already so that's about people you know connecting with people and being a leader outside of your own community all right and it, it has a lot to do with your engagement strategy quote unquote engagement strategy but it's about finding solutions people's problems now the same thing can happen inside of your own community right for example if you are in a network marketing business or maybe you have an affiliate marketing team that you're building all right or um, maybe you have a coaching team that you're building okay so you've got people and you're mentoring them and coaching them in what they call like a cohort all right you have to be able to serve them on a daily basis and how do you serve them the same way now outside in social media people are putting out their 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 problems but you've got to remember that these are people who are in your community they have paid in some form or fashion to be with you to follow you to learn from you so in order for you to serve them you've got to find out what are their pains what are their struggles and you've got to dig deep because sometimes people once they've come into I've noticed that once people come into an organization or into a community they kind of sometimes get quiet yes you will always have a few that are always talking always um, contributing but then you've got the quiet ones and you've got to learn to have be able to draw them out because that's how you're going to be able to serve them and servant leadership I have found always always pays off dividends tenfold going down the line because what you've done is help this person from point E to point B to point C to all the way down to point Z all right and the thing is that's what you want to do you want to help this person you want to take this person on a journey and if you think about it that way and not about what you're gonna gain 
all right a lot of the times you know we have bad leaders who think that we're gonna gain something from this you want to be the leader that wants to see somebody move from one level to the next to the next that's the type of leader you want to be whether it be a network marketing business whether it be your coaching business whether it be affiliate marketing all right so I hope you've gotten value from this and I want you to take this thought with you throughout the week as I said we're truncating our lives um, daily lives I may be on Wednesday if I am back from my appointment all right um, but Wednesday definitely and then Friday we wrap up the week on Friday we're not going to be doing daily lives anymore as time gets closer all right as you all know anyway have a great day have a great week and Think about how you are going to serve your community, your, your team, whatever the case may be today. Want to learn more about how to work with me? Just click on the link in the description of the video. It's hillarydefreitas.com forward slash strategy. That is hillarydefreitas.com forward slash strategy. I'm going to drop it in the comments as well if the computer will move quickly. Anyway, no, internet seems to be getting a little slow. So um follow that link answer the survey question and then we're going to have a chat and see how best we can help you and serve you reach your goals have a great one and i'll talk to you soon bye everybody